Greetings boys and girls, my name is Aridan Kane, and in this video I'll show you how to get your hands on some Ash Rose. I'll show you a couple of spots to get Ash Rose quick and easy, and then two more routes that will get you some larger quantities with a little extra work. Now that you know what we're doing, let's get started. First thing you want to do before heading out to harvest any plants is equip the green gun perk. You'll find it in the perception tree, and it's only one perk point. And there's really no reason that you shouldn't have it. Um, what it does for you is allows you to get two plants for every time you harvest one plant. Uh, so basically, it doubles your uh, doubles your harvest. I'm gonna go ahead and get it now, so I don't forget. And with that out of the way, let's get into our first location. Um, this one's quick and easy. We like this. If you need like just one or two plants, then this is a great one to go. So you get to the spawn point and then we're just going to head right up the road. And you'll see on our right hand side, there's a couple little houses that are kind of blown out. And the first two ash roses will be in this location. So we're going to head right up, oops, right over there to the shed. And we'll have our first two ash roses right here. So I'll make sure and put a, uh, a counter up in the, up in the corner there so that, uh, we can keep track of it. Cause the first couple times I recorded this, yeah, I couldn't keep track of it. <laughs> um, so next we'll head up to this house right here and we're just going to head right behind in the backyard there. There's another planter that will have two more ash roses. So that's our first location. The Silva Homestead and the Billings Homestead. Our next location is going to be Lewisburg. Down here in the ash heap, bottom right hand corner kind of. Off to the uh, east side there. We'll go ahead and fast travel there. So this is a larger location. There's a, uh, I think there was 11 ash roses in this spot. And there is a bit of fighting you're going to have to do. Um, it, it could be super, super mutants or, uh, ghouls, most likely ghouls. Um, so starting at the stump spawn point here, we are just going to head up the road. Past this first road right here with the barricades and then in between these two buildings right here there's a fire escape so we're gonna go ahead and head up there let's turn our light on I know it's daytime it's still a little dark but the top of the fire escape you'll see a greenhouse and we've got one two and three ash roses back out here to these ramps go ahead and take these and there's another one I think that's four and head up this fire escape this greenhouse is five we're gonna head right back outside and just kind of drop down here Right there amongst the uh, dead corn flowers is number six. And then you'll see the railing here with a bunch of tents down below. Just go ahead and drop down there. And then head right across the street. And then this alley has a, another fire escape. We're going to go ahead and go up there. And then all the way up, we take these ramps here another greenhouse. So inside here we have number seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Uh, 
so the next location is the Mount Blair train yard, especially this location. We don't want this to respawn, but it's always a big long event and all this other stuff in it. Yeah, so expect to do some fighting here. And usually it's a sentry bot. <laughs> so if you're lower level, this might not be a great spot for you. But this one's kind of easily skippable because there are, there's only four Ash Roses here, but it's relatively easy if you don't get stuck fighting right here. Uh, so what we're going to do is turn towards this mountain over here and you'll see that big plume of smoke. That's kind of our landmark. Head that direction. Start heading towards that uh, structure there. You'll notice our first ash rose right there. So there's one. And then down in this pit, you'll see there's a dump truck over there and there's a pit. We're gonna drop down here and ah, this like be number fog. two. Even just a mist makes it harder to see. And then we'll go ahead and get out of the pit and head over to the dump truck. Three. And if you look back towards the pit, you can see if we take this ramp up here, number four is just up the side. It's just about time to eat. And there's uh, scavenger guys around here. So our next location is Welch. We're actually going to take the Welch station uh, waypoint. It's a, it's a better location to drop in at for this particular route. And I think there's 11 ash roses on this one. We'll have the tally up there so we can keep track. So you can see there's the station right there and then here's the town of Welch. What we're going to do is head straight down to this railing. And then just go right down here. And you'll see there's another little clip there. It's not a big deal to get down it. And there is number one. And if we're going to head to the uh, west a little bit. And there's number two. So we'll keep going this direction. And you kind of see the layout here. But over here to the north is kind of a little... Scared me. <laughs> there's a sinky way. We'll go this way, and we will find number three right here. Turn towards your left, and you'll see number four right there real close by. And then we're going to go around this kind of plume of smoke, and then straight towards this little garage-looking building. And that is number five. And then you can either hop the fence or back around the building this way and yeah, don't get stuck on things and then we're going to go between those cars and then head towards the railing here and this should be six seven sure that the, uh, the tally up in the uh, up in the corner is correct even though I may not be correct as I'm doing this live um, so that is well dropping in from the spawn point at striker row you'll see that big plume of smoke right there um, you want to head a little bit to the right of that
right over there you'll see kind of a railing. I head there, get on the other side of it, and turn to the east. Then you'll see number four right there and number five right next to it. Then looking to your left, you drop down into this pit. And there is number six straight ahead. Head it to the north again, and you'll hit this little barricade wall thing. Uh, then you'll turn around about 180 degrees, head up here to number seven, and then turning back to the north, keep all this cliffside on your right. And this kind of turns into a little path that curves around to number eight. Number eight, yeah. And then if we turn to our west and where the fissure site is, you'll see that black puma smoke. That is our next spot. A total of four here. You just drop down. We've got one, two, and three. And then if you turn around again, just on the edge of the uh, that little pit there, there's the fourth one. Now we're going to head over to the fissure site. And you're going to take some rads here, so be prepared for that. There is an ash rose right here next to the uh, alpha death claw. So now turning back to the northeast, we're just going to kind of ride the edge of the fissure site. And then once you get to the edge, you're going to turn to your left and you'll see kind of a stumpy tree thing here. And another ash rose at its base. And then turning to the northeast, you'll see some fiery rocks and a plume of smoke. And that's kind of the direction we want to head. And you're going to keep your eyes peeled a little bit to your right. You should see an ash rose right there. And another one just around then turn back towards those rocks and this should be number 17 for this area okay so we are now going to head to red rocket and this will be our final location it's kind of our longest route starting at red rocket going to ams test site abandoned mine shaft one and then finishing up near the horn right testing site number two Let's go ahead and fast travel to Red Rocket. So the first thing we want to do is once you drop in at the spawn point, just turn directly around 180 degrees to the east. And you'll see a small little fire over there on the road. That's where our first ash rose is. That's one. And then if you turn around on the road to the southwest, there's a little opening there. And you'll see more fires and more ash roses. And two, three, and then four. And then just head right back to the Red Rocket filling station. There's usually a couple of uh, floaters here. I've already taken care of them, so we shouldn't have to deal with them. And you'll see kind of a road on your map. It definitely looks like a road. Uh, and we're just going to follow it. You'll see that pylon on your left. That is kind of our first landmark. This rock structure. You'll have number five. Head up the road. And then right here in the middle of the road, number six. Keep head following the road. And then there will be another one just by the fence. So that is number Ash Rose number seven for this route. And see on our map, we are at the AMS testing site. We're going to go inside the gate. And then to our left, 
there's kind of a big forklift with a container on it. Um, so that'll be, I don't know, I lost count already. There's one and two for the AMS test site. And then on the other side of the forklift is a third. Then if we're gonna head back out to the middle and then through the facility. Got a little bit of running to do here, but not much. And there's an ash rose here along the road. And continuing on the road. Go straight for a little bit and then the road will turn. And then on your left, you should see another ash rose coming up. Unless there it is. And then if we continue straight. You'll see in that crevice over there, there's another ash rose. Then we'll turn around, you'll see black smoke again. That's kind of our landmark for everything. And we've got two <coughs> sets of stairs. I always take the second set, because that's where all the bad guys are usually. And that's kind of the best place to start. We'll head up these stairs. You'll see the, the shack there. Going around to the back side. You'll see Ash Rose right there. And that's easy to get through without marsupial. No problems there. And then another one. And then a third Ash Rose right there. And if we come around to the back side of the pit there, you'll see another three Ash Rose. One. Two and three. And if you're into aluminum, that's your spot. There's a bunch of them right here. Uh, so now we will head back out to the road. And again, you don't need that pack so much to the or stuff. I just I like traveling this way. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> okay. So we're back to the road. And if you look, you can see there's an ash rose down there on the road. So using that as a landmark, kind of looking to your left. Once we get there, we go, we should be able to see another ash rose. So there's one there and the original one that we saw from further up the road, another ash rose. So continuing up the road. We're now approaching the Hornwright testing site number two. And you'll see a break in the gate there. Go in the fence and then right next to the car or the, the pickup truck there is another Ash Rose. And then second one on the other side of the truck. And then we're just going to turn to the, that's the southeast and basically just head straight ahead through all these trucks. And what we're going to find is you'll see that big black plume of smoke. Again, smoke is our landmark for ash roses. Kind of a pretty decent chance that if you see smoke, there is ash roses. And at this spot, we'll find three more. There's one, two, and three. And then turn right back around, you'll see some kind of fiery rocks over there to the southwest. If we head over there, kind of keep a little to the right. And then the first ash rose is right here. <laughs> So in this little spot, there are six ash roses and because of the color of everything right around over here, they're hard to spot. Um, here's one. And then we're going to turn this way and we'll see number two kind of by these candles and stuff. If you look right back there between the tree and that idle totem thing, there's number three. 
your right. This is number four. And then right there is number five. And then to our right again is number six. That should be 30 plus ash rose plants on this entire route. So that is a pretty good haul. Um, so let's look at our inventory and see how much we actually got. Uh, it be under actually food and drink, which is weird, but whatever. So for that amount of time, we had 156 ash roses. Now, obviously the number of plants is cut in half because we had uh, green thumb on, which doubled the amount of harvests we got. So 156 ash roses will make you a metric crap ton of <laughs> of uh, formula P or T or, or whatever healing salve disease cure that you're trying to make. That's going to do it for this video. I've shown you how to get 156 ash rose plants in just over 20 minutes. I hope this helped you out. If it did and you want to help me out, please hit that like button. It really does help get my videos out to more people. And if you like me and the content I create, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Be sure to check out the website for all my Fallout 76 content at fo76guides.com. Link in the description below. And as always, my name is Aridan Kane, and I'll see you in the next video.